All right, guys, so in today's video, all the properties that you're going to see that I'm showing you today are in one subdivision. We're starting the season with rap consolidation. All right, guys. So it's Tuesday morning, and uh, I'm riding through the subdivision, <clears throat> just kind of looking at some of the yards that we did yesterday. Do you ever do that? Do you go back after you've done them, even if you go on your personal vehicle, and just look at what you did, see if you can see something that, wow, we missed that. <clears throat> That's what I just got through doing. It's early in the morning. It's right at 8 o'clock. It's real dewy. And I don't like to jump right in that dew. I like to, if it means I start a 30, 40 minutes or an hour later, then I just do it because the grass doesn't mow the same when it has that dew all over it. It just doesn't. Uh, but here's a question for this video. I need you to leave me out. <laughs> what do you do when you get that text in the mail that says, we're not going to need you to cut the lawn anymore. Thank you for everything that you do. Okay? Here, here it is. You text back and say, is there a problem? They say, oh, no. What do you do when you get that text? What do you do when you get that text and you don't feel like you did anything wrong? But if you drop me, I would like to know why you're dropping me. Tell me you wouldn't. Leave it in the comments and tell me what do you do when you get that text? I'm Scott Longcast, what we do. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys. These are the next two. And both of them are going to be cleanups. Haven't done nothing to this one since Christmas. The last time I came here. As you can see, it's, it's, it's a cleanup. Had to clean all the beds and everything. And then I got this one. She was saying she was going to wait until April. I thought to myself, there's no way. So I'm going to get a moat. And I'm going to bring you back a finish. Consolidation, baby. Now this one. See, you got two oak trees in the front. So it had lots of leaves. So... I did one of service here. Last time I was here, I think, was early February. I did the last leaf yard. So, let me get it cleaned up. And that's what it looks like. Tell me what you think. And here's the other one across the street. All right, guys, Johnny with us again. So, Monday morning, second week of the season. Now, last week, guys, we ended up, we ended up losing almost the entire week. It rained all week. We went out one day. So, uh, we didn't we didn't get much of anything, guys. Uh, we got almost a whole week. And the weird thing about that is, you tell me how you do it, on last week, I'm going to send out a text and just say, hey, we're behind and, you know, be patient. We'll get to you as soon as we can. But none of those yards I can do until next week. They're on a, you know, bi-weekly rotation. And so, how, how do you do that when you're behind like that? And this week, where we're at today on Monday, where we're starting at, this is a whole nother schedule. And it's, it's, it's full. We can't bring anything from last week to this week. But tell me how you do that. This is what we got today. It's another cleanup. This is one of our regulars and uh, haven't been here since November. Look at the beds. All that on the side of the house. That whole section right there, he just got through string trimming all that. It's wet over there. I mean, it rained Friday. I mean, it, it, it rained most of the day Friday.
Yeah, go over there. You gotta get all that clean. That's a clean up. This is the front yard. It's pretty good size lawn. All of this around here gotta be cleaned up. And I've already started. That's gotta be cleaned up. All the all the string trim has gotta be done. We go over to on the other side of that brown spot there. You go over about another 15 feet all the way to that uh, fence out there. And then that little slope ditch, we do that. All the way over to that fence there. That's your backyard. Here's your front. And they go on this side, around right the other side of that bush in the back. Well, I already got started on the back, but uh, we'll get some footage. But you know what I want to know? It's, uh, what would you get for it? Leave it in the comments. And I'm going to tell you again, guys, I'm hitting them all. We ain't leaving no money on the table. Not in 2024. All right, and there it is. We got it done. And that was a cleanup. It was, it was a pretty good cleanup. It took us 45 minutes. And they had some leaves this. And one like this, we, we, we come in and we clean it up and then we come up, when we come back in again in two weeks, we'll really, you know, it'll mow a whole lot better because see, you got some leaves out there and I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time. They wasn't bad and they over in that corner. So I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time, no extra time because we got a long way to go. And then no, when we come back, we'll, you know, but we just getting them as good as we can get them because they a lot of they real weedy and they don't look as good as they would when things and, it, and it's damp so that's the side over here and we headed to the next one guys all right guys so today is monday <clears throat> Got to a late start. Uh, had some things I had to do this morning, but that's okay. We're at one of our uh, bigger properties. I've already got started. I've mowed this area. We've got this edged up. Now, it's a funny thing. They were telling me that the company that they had before they said they couldn't get them to edge it every time they came and they wanted it. I mean, you got circle drive, right? I've mowed this area. Now, this is our first time back to this property. <clears throat> I tried to get them to do one of service, but they didn't want to do one of service, so we're in the process of cleaning it up right now. We've got this part out front done. And we've got this area. So now we're going, I'm going into the back. And get started back there. We've got this over here. And we've got this area in here. Now with the bushes, we're not going to, we're not going to do any bushes this trip. This is one of the properties. We do it. There's a lot to be done. And uh, we just kind of do it at our own discretion. We'll start on the bushes when we come back because most of the time today is going to be spent just cleaning up. So, let me get back on the mower and I'm gonna, I'll be back with a finish. All right, guys, so we got our first one. Keep getting it edged out. And this one's going to be a clean up. 
This one's in the subdivision. But it's our first time mowing it since it's all dry. Early December, I know. It's pretty thick. Clover. Yeah, it's a clean up. It's a clean up now, but I, I really tell you, we do these and I, I do sometimes a five or ten dollar up charge when it's like this. I don't I don't try to double the price or nothing because they're good clients. And again, you're not gonna get everybody to do one service. You just not. But they're weekly during the regular season, so you know, you charge accordingly. You know, in this business, guys, you have to learn how to work with the client and not always just work in your favor. And the client will appreciate it and they'll tell somebody else. Which keeps you in business. So tell me how your schedule looks for this year. Are you, are, you, are you full? Are you pretty close to full? Do you have as many lawns as you want? Do you want more lawns? Right now, we are, uh, we're getting to a full point. So, uh, we just got to roll with the point. Not completely full, but we're getting close.
when you're done with it, that's what you got. Cleaned up for the morning season and ready to go. You tell me. We're headed to the next one.